You have to like stomp it, and Sandy does not have a stomp. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Okay. Push, 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 push. Holy shit, dude! Where are we? Oh my god. So yeah, you need to be Sandy to like probably hover over there. Wow. I didn't. I didn't know that that was gonna be a thing. There's a box up here too. All right. Well, I probably want to go back to Sandy. Oh, you, like, can't. You actually can't. You There must be, like... Either you can't do anything after that, or... I don't know. Wild. Alright, well, we gotta... Sandy may cross large gaps by double jumping and holding A afterwards. There you go. Dude, what the hell? There's, like, huge clothes here. It's, like, Spongebob's clothes? Patrick's, like, pants or some crap? Like, what? All right. Oh, we got this. Uh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does it really have to throw a bomb on top of someone? She's dead. There's no way that fish is still alive. That's all right. We can just lasso this idiot, and that's probably how you kill it. Oh, shit. I didn't want to do that. Ugh. Let me, like, go back here. I thought maybe I could lasso him, but... I guess I have to, like, cross over first. Oh. Oh, there we go. That was interesting. Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Like, Sandy doesn't even have to get close to anything. She just lassos it from, like, super far away, and she's, like, perfectly fine. What happens if you fall? You probably just, like, die or lose health. That's for messing with Texas. Yeah, you don't mess with Texas. No one messes with Texas and gets away with it. Sandy will make sure of that. You think you pull one over on Texas and then Sandy just shows up at your house at night and karate chops you into oblivion. There's no escape in Texan justice. Oh, this was not good. Oh, oh, now we're fine. Oh. All right, so I took a little bit of damage, but we're all good. Kelpo, I love, look at this. Wow, what a mascot. <laughs> Kelpo mascot. I can like parkour on top of this stuff. Oh, you actually can. I don't know. There's no point to this, but... Another box over here. Twenty-one hundred. I got enough. What does this do? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, I can actually do this. Oh, shit. Well, I don't even want to... <laughs> I'm scared now. Can I, like, reset it? Aw, oh, dang it. I wasn't expecting that. That's all right. We'll sit here for a little bit. I should have just went. Where's my water? It's time to take a, a bit of a break. Drink some water. Check out Sandy's idle animations while we wait for this timer to reset because I suck. She has, like, kind of wonky jumping jacks. I don't know. <sighs> all right. I'm refreshed. Let's try it again. Dang, I gotta be, like, faster. Dude, where are, where are we going? Oh my god, we're... I'm not even dealing with any of the shit that we just went by. Oh, no! Oh, no, dude. Made it. With ten, eight, nine seconds to spare, we're good. That's another spatula. But now we're all the way back over here. I can probably use a box. Yeah, there's a box here, so. This will probably teleport me back to where I want to go. I don't know where to go from here. I guess just over. I didn't know this was here. Did this... I think that might have disappeared when I hit this button. I'm not going to check to find out because I don't want to wait another 30 seconds, but... I don't even know what that said. Probably Sandy can defeat stuff by, like, lassoing it. Sorry, we gotta get over here first. 
Yeah, take your karate chops. Free karate chops to anyone who wants them. Line up and take them. Right to the face. Bam. And I guess the answer of are the ship's steering wheels in other sections of the area has been answered because they are definitely up here. I don't think I can get over there from here. I think I have to... Yeah, I probably have to be, like, even higher up. What is this? A little treadmill? To get across large gaps, lasso glide, then lasso swing. All right. Is that thing going to break when it hits? I have no clue. All right, so... Man, like, there's a lot of stuff going on up there. I don't know how to get up there. Probably, like, from doing some of this stuff. I'll probably get up there eventually. Refreshed. Some of the jumps are, like, kind of awkward. I haven't been screwed over yet, so... It's probably kind of... Kind of forgiving. Oh, dude, why couldn't... Oh, no. Get out of here. Why couldn't you help? Damn it. You were standing right next to the robot the whole time. The stupid spawner. See, and then Sandy doesn't even have to sneak up on it. Sandy can do, like, more than half the shit the other characters can do while also being able to, like, glide and stuff. Like, Sandy's just good. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Sandy's just a good character at this point. I don't know. That's what it feels. It feels like Sandy's just the best character. All right, where do I gotta go? I gotta go like over there. All right. You got it. Why is there toilet paper everywhere up here? Who's go like? Is this not toilet paper? What is it? just toilet paper everywhere up here. This is where everyone hid their toilet paper when they were hoarding it back in, like, March. They hid it all up here. No one will ever find it on the rooftops of Bikini Bottom. It's also completely unusable because it's paper underwater, but... Aw, oh, damn it. Practice my karate while I'm up here. Don't hit me with your stupid tartar sauce, dude. Get out of here. You're a joke! You're a fucking clown! Alright. <laughs> Back to business. Alright, more underwear. Doesn't even matter if I took damage. Who gives a crap? ba -bam. Oh, shit. Messing with Texas! Uh, she warned everyone not to mess with Texas. Uh, man, I'm gonna have to, like, drop down to get that sock, aren't I? Well, I mean, there is, like, a little bouncy thing over there that'll probably send me back, so... It's probably not that bad. I wonder what's over there on that roof. There's gotta be something over there, right? Like, something hidden over there? Is there really, like, nothing over there? Not even sure if you can get over there. It looks like you should, though. Like, Sandy's really good at gliding, so... Oh, come on, really? Come on. You can't, dude. Come on, I was, a, I was just trying to explore. At least let me get over there and have there be nothing over there. I don't know why I lasso that point blank. Doesn't even matter that I messed up, because she can just lasso them from far away, and it, like, it doesn't matter. Alright, didn't I want to go get Patrick's sock? Where was his sock? Was it down there? I don't remember. No, it was, no, it was over there. Sandy can slide down slopes just like SpongeBob can. Of course. What can't Sandy do then? Oh, shit. I almost biffed that. Sock getter. Alright. I mean... I guess I have to, like, make this jump? Alright, that makes sense. 
Some wild stuff, dude. Aw, oh, damn it. I thought I was out of range. I was definitely not out of range. Why are there so many pairs of SpongeBob's clothes and Patrick's stuff? And, like, I don't even know whose clothes the other shit is, but... Sorry, we got this spatula. We did it. And there's a bus stop here on top of this building in the middle of the city for some reason. All right. Uh, I'm not who I'm not sure who I'm supposed to. Oh, I guess I have to be like SpongeBob or Patrick for this, so. Sandy can't hit floor buttons for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Like a spring green. Oh, there's a sock back here. Hell yeah. Fine that delicious sock. Where, Where's that thing going? Where is it going? Does anyone know where this is going right now? I, I guess he was just trying to fly away. And we get a nice box. Just in case we want to warp here. As we can travel to the lighthouse. I think this was the... Yeah, I think this was the building we were trying to open for Bubble Buddy. I don't remember. Let's head on in, though. Are you ready, kids? Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, but... You've just met the sponginator. Oh, God. It's like different waves of stuff as I have to get... To do. That's pretty neat. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Alright, we're good. We're all good here. Oh, no. Tartar sauce, robot? Come on. Give me a break, buddy. Give me a break, buddy. Oh, that's a lot of... <laughs> that's a lot of... Stone tiki's there. Oh, come on. Really? I'm about to die if I'm not careful. No! Dang it. Oh, God. Let me get out of here. There's a lot of enemies. Oh, there's another spawner. I didn't even know there was a double spawner in here. I feel like a new Makes sense. I'm still getting shot at by missiles? Oh, there's one of these idiots left. So can I make him, like, blow this up then? I oh, I guess I just did it. My <laughs> I guess I just did it myself by hitting the Fresh, explosive like tiki. Alright, we got a spatula, we got a steering wheel. It's also a button to hit here. I don't know what it does, but... I hit it, maybe it opened the door. Well, that's... We almost, we're almost at 20 spatulas. Where does this go? All the way back up? So I guess I can just, like, jump all the way back up. Maybe hitting the button did something all the way up top. I can't see, though. Oh, there's socks! There's actually socks up here. Nice. Alright, well, let's go back down. No fall damage, please! Alright, we're a sponge. We're fine. And now we can just get the heck out of here. And now we're back to where we were before, in the very beginning. Oh, Bubble Buddy. Hey there, SpongeBob. Bubble Buddy. I opened the door, didn't I? Well, I thought I did. Well, I guess the only other place to really go... Let me check here. End of the road? I don't even know what end of the... Oh, yeah, we're trying to get all the steering wheels for Mrs. Puff. That's what it was. All right, well, the only other way to really go is this other area that I opened up, like, forever ago, and then never went through, so... Let's pop in here. I actually didn't see where we're going, but we're going. The Sea Needle. No relation to the Space Needle. I don't know. It's, like, all messed up. Interesting. There's a bunch of fish in there, though. And robots? Okay. SpongeBob's just sitting down in here now. Oh, Krabs is here, too. And we got a bus stop? Man, there's a lot of stuff here. 
E? I don't know where E goes. Ah, there you are, boy. Wow. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. Ooh, sweetening if the deal. If you all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. Wow, what an insult. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You've got a deal. All right, can I buy anything from Mr. Krabs while he's here? Or like, no, it, I guess he doesn't function the same. Smash all the tiki's. Uh, I guess he doesn't function the same here as he does back in, like, by Spongebob's house, so. When we come back next time, we'll be taking on the Sea Needle. Definitely no relation to the Space Needle at all. Uh, so, that's what we'll be doing when we come back next time. Got a couple more spatulas, and then we can probably wrap this area up. I don't even know how many ship. I have 9 out of 11 steering wheels. Uh, we're, we're looking pretty good here. 5,100 shiny objects. Having a fun time. So when we come back, we'll do that. I hope you enjoyed the videos. I'll see you guys then.